Hola, today I'm going to make um, Halloween card number 20. Um, it's 11 more to go to finish the 31 cards that I want to make for Halloween. Um, I'm using today the Clearly Bisotta, um stamp set. As you see here, I will, I stamp in the jars and what is inside the jars, the spiders, worms, uh, cockroaches, um, eyes and um, brain. After I finish coloring and cut them, um, I'm going to apply um, glossy accents. And um, before the immediately after I apply the glossy accent, I will add a drop of uh, alcohol ink. Uh, we choose different color for uh, every um, jar. Okay, um, this is the way that they look after um, they dry a little bit. Sorry, my camera is moving a lot because I'm turning on and off constantly. Um, I will stamp from the same set, um, shell. I stamped it several times, I think um, six times. And I colored all of them because I was thinking I was going to use it in a different way. But then I um, occurred to me that I want them to stack them together, uh, three and three. Um, and then, well, if you want to color them, uh, um, you can color them, but it is not necessary to color all of them. Just to color the top one is, is it will be enough. Uh, and I trying to make the lips to look like rusty gold something like that and i did that at first but then i said that i want the lid to be uh dimensional too and i cut um i stamped for each jar three times three lips three times and then cut them and stack them together and make it a little bit of dimensional here i'm using this um the version um die cut and i cut it four times one in purple two in black and one in brown uh, in the purple I just cut the top part and in the brown I just cut the spoon and then I cut the top part of uh, in one of them in the one of the black ones and put it at the top of the of the jar sorry not the jar the cauldron and you see here how it looks after I, I finish. I'm going to use pattern paper um, and a scrap paper that I have from, from another card that I made before. And I'm going to use like a, a thing in a witch um, house or witch lab um, where she made her um, brew for spellings and everything. I also stamp the little tags for each rack, um, jar. This is a very cute and complete set. I have everything for, for made it, the jars. It's not missing anything. I added this green piece of paper to make the floor. I didn't want to use brown. And I darken a little bit more with uh, my Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. And I distress the size of the card with 
a black suit. I'm going to do some splashes in black and in orange. I um making the look the how you say that the smoke from the calderon a little bit shiny in, in purple. And I cut from this pattern paper a little pumpkin. It doesn't matter, it's just the, the half of the pumpkin because it's going to be in the back of the cauldron when I build my thing. Now that I know where everything goes, and I'm, um, I'm gluing everything down, and then I'm going to put a little bit of details with enamel dots. I'm going to use some in the eye jar. I'm going to use uh, doodle box eyes. Um, I think I'm going to add, yeah, I'm going to add a spider web and a spider and a little bat. As you see here, I add to the cauldron little um, flat back pearls to pretend that are the bubbles. Um, after I finish doing the whole car and I saw it, I think I want to add more bubbles to, to look like a clutter of bubbles. Um, I haven't that done yet, but I, I will do it because I think it will look better. I add to the lips of the jar uh, animal dot in gold color. And I think they look a lot better like that. And now I gluing um, their um, name tags of each other. Okay, uh, I'm gluing right now my my bat, and after that, I will grab black cardstock paper to do a little frame, and I'm going to glue my car panel in um, craft car base. I'm going to use a pre-made car that is already done, but it's bigger, it's larger than that, that I need. Then after I glue, I will cut it down.
after I glue everything together, this is the look um, the way it looked like. And I'm finished my card. I hope you like it. Um, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. Uh, thank you for watching on the next card. Bye.